now we are going to create client app okay go to file new project next name it client app okay next create okay on main storyboard close this we are going to do it here drag it here here okay drag in a ns object okay define a gui handler add new file next gui handler okay next cancel make it type ns object okay next create okay go to main storyboard select this gui handler okay map it it map okay now go to implementation gui handler implementation select this okay now go over here now we have access to the header file now over here we are going to add push button it will say connect to server okay position it properly now we need to add a text field display editable text we need multi line text field okay resize it over here over here okay now okay now we need a text field single line text field okay now push button drag in over here it will be called send okay now we need to drag in the reference in the gui handler okay this will show the response from the server tx server response okay connect okay this is also a this will take data from the user tx text underscore user data connect okay this will connect to the server it will be called action connect to server connect okay it is also called action send message okay now we need to hash import that is your header that is your cocoa class to remove these errors okay file save okay now go over here we need to create uh, socket thread client socket thread to connect to the server okay so we go to here create new cocoa file next 
offline socket thread of type ns thread okay create okay we are going to override main okay copy this paste here now we are going to initialize also the socket that is your void initialize client okay now copy this enter paste here okay now i am going to copy the code from the server code go to here server app initialize server code copy the entire code from here we are going to use it in here paste now change this from accept to connect call back okay now get the call back function this one copy go over here paste here okay now instead of this connect call back okay delete all this okay now go over here define a variable cf socket reference okay pointer the not pointer object client okay that client going to be over here okay now we need to define the two headers that is your hash include that it is your c header okay sys that one sys socket okay now hash include okay in dot h that contains the socket address structure hash include one more we need to convert the ip address to network readable bytes arpa internet okay now okay okay we need to pass the address object client copy paste here okay now the address is not any we need to use internet underscore pitan okay now af underscore internet okay and the address is 127.0.0.1 and the address of sock address dot sign address okay close it now instead of this we need to call we need to call cf socket 
connect to address okay that is your first socket reference object client now the address is d reference and the time is minus 1 okay we are going to check it if bracket is equal to kcf kcf socket success bracket then ns log at the rate connect full okay connect successful okay now in main we are going to run the loop okay we are going to get the loop from the server code okay this one copy it server app client okay paste here object server client paste okay client thread is in loop is in loop okay now our initialization our initialization is complete and our main is running now we need to stop the white stop client okay copy this over here okay now copy again from the server app that is your stop the loop over here client app paste over here copy paste and paste here our stop client is ready okay now we are going to handle the connected socket okay if data is set then it is a error okay so we are going to first initialize an object okay that is a, we, we are going to call the um, context socket context that is passed in here so it is client socket thread pointer object client pointer is equal to copy paste here pointer that is your info ok now we need to bridge it okay now okay now if data is set then it is a error during connect if it data is set then it is a error object point client pointer call the stop client okay it will stop the so socket object okay now it is this okay else it will process the socket and connect it to ns stream okay for that we need to define a function over here dash wide process 
connected socket okay copy it same common for that we need to paste here okay now we need to pass the handle okay cf socket get native of s okay that is your socket reference s it will return the cf Socket native handle that is your handle is equal to we are going to pass that handle to this process socket handle so we need to define it here cf socket native handle okay that is your handle okay now copy this paste over here okay place is to here no comma okay now object pointer process okay so pass the handle okay now over here we need to pass the code from server let's get this code here it is copy this go over here client app paste here okay remove this sidebar now we need to pass this handle copy and paste here now we need to define these strings okay cf read string reference okay rd underscore tree okay cf write stream reference wt stream okay now remove this this w okay remove this to okay now we are going to define to private okay at the rate private strong strong ns <coughs> input stream that is your pointer input okay underscore strong ns output stream pointer output okay now over here input is equal to rd string output is equal to 
wt underscore stream okay now we need to bridge it we also bridge this okay now open output dot schedule ns run loop current run loop kcf that is your not kcf ns default run loop mode okay same for input input schedule run loop ns run loop that is your current run loop for mode ns default loop okay run loop mode now before that we need to assign a delegate input set delegate self okay output set delegate self okay now we need to open the stream input open output open okay now that's good we are already in loop okay we don't need to open this we don't need to define another loop okay we are uh, we are already in the loop over here in this loop okay now now we are going to copy code now we are going to copy code for the for the stream handling okay go to server code from the server we have the handler over here delegate event handler over this copy go to app this going to be here okay now we need to define these two function that we defined over here okay copy these two as it is okay go to app paste over here okay now we need to copy the variables these two variables copy it go over client app define it here again go to server app copy these two function they are just same for client and server ok paste here now file save ok now we need to all error removed ok now we need to initialize this to do that we need to go to here process connected socket ok now define m underscore right array is equal to ns mutable array allocate 
initialize okay and also initialize current offset to zero okay most of our code is complete now the real thing to run the asynchronous socket is this problem we have the handle uh, native handle but it is still connected to the cf socket reference this is the main part you need to stop you need to detach okay you need to detach the handle native socket handle native socket from the cf socket reference okay to do that we need to use cf socket set socket flag okay reference is s and the flag is zero it will not receive any more event okay then cf socket invalidate s okay remember we are not going to close the main loop we are going to to invalidate the socket and stop sending any event to that socket reference not socket socket reference which is um, class defined by the uh, cocoa framework okay now cf release release bracket your s okay then you uh, pass the handle to the process socket connected socket okay that will be this one okay then you can send data and it will and the read will be asynchronous whenever data is received it will send it to the form okay now to print the data we need to <coughs> we need to pass the uh, pass the um, text field object okay wait a minute we are going to show server response in this field okay this field is here server response server response okay it must be passed to the uh, socket thread over here okay in this we are going to pass ns text field okay we need to call the hash include hash import the cocoa class cocoa header file sorry okay nx text field pointer tx okay now copy this go to its, its implementation okay now define another object that is your ns text field the target text okay make it pointer target text is equal to dx okay file save now this text field will be pass we are go not going to pass here this text field target text will be passed here okay
okay now remove this ns string okay receive data to be passed to the ns string object that is your pointer data data is equal to ns string allocate okay initialize with byte byte is buffer okay and the length is receive length and the encoding is ns utf 8 okay string encoding then close it close it okay now target text set string value that is your data okay all received data will be displayed in this text field we passed it to the socket go to implementation over here okay now our thread is thread code is complete save it now we need to call this thread in gui handler okay go over here okay now hash import that is your client socket thread header okay over here client socket thread obj client okay client thread okay copy this is equal to client socket thread allocate initialize okay now we close obj client thread initialize client now pass the mm, uh, uh, server response field copy paste here okay now obj client thread start it will start the thread okay and now we are going to send data to the uh, server which is which uh, server going to return in this field okay now over here ns data pointer data is equal to tx user data string value okay now data using encoding ns utf8 okay string encoding that will returns the bytes okay now obj client thread we have a array okay we need to make that array public okay so to do that go over thread over here okay make it at the rate public okay file save go over here okay insert object that is called the data at position 0 okay now that's complete now there is a one more 
thing we need to do that is uh, the delegate will not fire the write and read event until we give it something we are passing the data to an array and the and the array is re read by the delegate over here let me show you okay here it is if array count greater than 0 then it will read the data but it will not be called until we trigger the delegate to trigger the delegate we have a we can pass a fake data what is fake data ns string okay pointer fake is equal to at the rate okay now obj client thread that is your output okay but output is again private so we are going to use we are going to edit it and make it public okay now go over here okay output write what you are going to write that is your uh, fake data using encoding that is your nss ns utf hit and string encoding okay bytes okay the max length is 1 okay we are triggering the we trigger the um, delegate by sending by putting data in the stream that is the fake data we are sending nothing in it okay so it will fire the right okay it will fire the uh, right method right to stream method this method will be called by the delegate this delegate okay when we put some data on the stream uh, the stream handler will send a event over here and it will fire that event okay so we are writing to the stream indirectly okay now same copy this we need to trigger it from server go to server okay we write the received data but it will not call the write data by itself we need to trigger it okay read is is independent but write need to be called you have to fake it okay that way you can call the write stream write to stream okay now we don't need this okay our both client and server code complete now go to client app run it first start the server ok now go to client app run it ok we have a error ok spelling mistake and it is ok over here it is showing it ok now run it ok now as our server running we are going to connect event and process ok let's check the server ok it doesn't entered in the client handler so let's check the client handler why it not entered ok we didn't start the thread obj client start 
okay okay make it length 0 do some simple work close it close it okay now save it go to client tab same error over here okay over here is equal to zero and one more thing we need to set the reuse flag so we will not see any error of uh, port already in use int so reuse is equal to one okay now set socket option that is your cf socket get native obj client now sol socket s o s o underscore so underscore we use reuse port okay now address of so reuse flag okay size of so underscore reuse okay we are going to set copy here reuse address okay copy this okay now go over here in server implementation paste here okay instead of this we are going to call it server Okay. Now run it. Okay. Now go over client application. Also run it. Okay. Make sure your server running. Server is in loop. I own code log send okay it's running not a problem welcome to code log okay server response came in this text field sent from this field try it if you like this video please subscribe and share with your friend and please subscribe thank you